Hi, Kathy here from Kathy's Good Creations. Today we're going to do Bloomtopia Release 4, which is two different kind of blocks. Sarah's Choice, which is six, and Goose Gosling Blocks, which is seven. So I have all of my fabric cut out, which I'll show you down here. Following along, this is what you should have. I went ahead and I labeled them all. Looks like we're going to have some tiny little pieces this time. But they do look nice, the blocks do. So let's go ahead and get so started. So you should have two colors of each one here. And we're going to turn them upside down. So we're going to have the wrong side. And this looks like my salvage, but that's going to be okay because it'll be in the seam line. And we're going to draw a diagonal because we're going to be making some little bitty half square triangles. And it is showing this color with the green, they're going to go together, and the blue and the red are going to go together. So let's draw our lines, and then we're going to cut them in half. Each one of your squares should look like this. This is the sewing line, this is the cutting line, this is the sewing line. So I did my dash lines first, then I went a quarter inch over and drew a straight line, Went a quarter inch over the other direction and drew a straight line. So these are the sewing lines and that's the cutting line. So our half square triangle is going to be really teeny weeny. And you only really need to do this on one side of the fabric. So instead of doing all eight of these, just do four of them. So this one gets matched up to the green one, which is this one. So take right sides together like this. And then we're going to sew it on this side and on that side, and then we'll cut it in half. So do the same thing with yours. Mark them all first before we sew them. Take them over to the iron and let's iron them all open. Don't forget to relax your seams. All right, I went ahead and I cut off all the little tips and I've lined it up the way that it's showing in the picture. We're gonna sew this together and then this together and then we're gonna put the two rows together. The same with this side. So when you fold it over like this, there's nothing, there's a match on this corner here. So you're gonna be Snuggling those corners. You can pin them if you want. I will pin them right where they have to snuggle. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chain stitch these to attach them. Now I'm going to iron it open because it's going to be easier to sew and connect. Connect and sew. This is the way they look before we put them together. Now let's be careful when we match these so we don't chop off our tips. There. And this is going to be the piece we're going to be sewing on. And then you're going to match it up with this the best that you can. Like that. And as you noticed, I went ahead and I opened up my seams. Because I think it's going to be a lot easier because of all of this bulk. I'm going to put a pin here to hold it, and I'll put a pin over here to hold it again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a pin, which I'm going to pin this to death practically. I'm going to put one here to hold this fabric down because I don't want it to flip over as soon as I go across it. I'm going to go real slow when I go across, and if it doesn't hit my pin, I'll go ahead and go over it. If it looks like it's going to hit it, I'll pull my pin out. I'll pull this middle one out. Do the other side the same way, and then we'll sew these. Is 
what the blocks will look like when you're done. I have ironed all of the seams open for convenience because it's so much bulk in that middle. And the paper says that they are supposed to be three and a half inches. Now trim this down. It's really easy. Take your ruler. Make sure it's at least a two inch wide ruler. This is four and a half. Put the one and a half, which is half a three, because this is supposed to be a three inch block. Put the one and a half right down the middle of your block. Like that. And then take off that edge. Turn it one and a half again. This is the easiest way to make this a three inch block. It couldn't be any easier. And one more, one and a half. Right there. And there you have it, three inches. Okay, put that aside and let's move on. All right, you wanna draw a diagonal line. This is our sewing line. We're going to make flying geese. So put your ruler down really, really tight and draw your line because this is on the bias. And we're gonna put this on that right there and we're gonna sew it down there. And then we're gonna flip this over. And then we're gonna have half of a fine piece and then we're gonna do it the other direction. So go ahead and mark all of these coordinating with this fabric here and this other pinwheel here. So both these pinwheels, we wanna do the same thing. All right, I'm gonna chain stitch all of these. And we're not starting at the end, we're starting in the middle here. finished and let's move on to the second one. Now we're going to be using B and F and I want to apologize for that first square because apparently my it's either my camera's acting up so I'm going to be watching it really close this time around for this square here because although I kept clicking it to record it act like it didn't record or it didn't save it and there were pictures but when I went to view them they weren't there so I'm not quite sure if my camera on my phone is going out or what is going on so I'm gonna be stopping quite a bit here just to double check on the video so first off they want us to cut these in half we're gonna end up making 16 of this because B there's only eight and we're going to cut all of these in half to become two of each color so let's do that first and I apologize for the last video, but if you keep watching my videos, you'll see. Let me go ahead and stack these up on my rotary mat. I can only say I hope that it was operator error because this phone is not that old and there is no way I can aff afford a new phone and I do not have a camera. So I've laid these out. I'm gonna put a lot of pressure because we're only doing them in half. I cleaned out my blade and I stacked two because I figured that it would be easier and they'd be more correct than doing it separately. I could be wrong on that too, heck, who knows. Okay, let's pull this over here so I can cut it. And I'm trying to line it up with this line right here, the 60 degree line, just to give me a little bit more there we go, because then I'm on the left-hand side of the line. Just like that. There we go. And then we're gonna do a little white ones 
I think I can stack up four at a time. I'm going to try it and see. Let's see here if I can. There's four of them. And I know they got to be individual because if you don't do it individually, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to put it on that thing right there because when I cut these, I cut them in pairs. I think I can get four of them. I mean, the worst case scenario is I mess it up and I gotta go cut four more out. There's three, and here is four. Okay, let's try it. They look like they're all lined up. There you go. There's eight of them. Let's try it again. good. Lay this down really slow and gentle. There you go. There we go. All righty, we got them all done. Okay, so what I was going to say earlier that I did not say was that if you continue to watch my videos, you'll see that I show over and over how to do something specific. So next, Bloomtopia will show you how to attach this Bloomtopia. It's the same process, but I've done it before in other videos. Now, let me tell you about this video. First off, they didn't complete the directions correctly. Well, they've told us how to make two of these colors each. That's what I have here. How to cut this and make 16. And then what they've shown us how to do it's just a picture now. It says assemble one large half square triangle unit, two fabric B. Now, fabric B is the white with one matching fabric F triangle. Well, here's the problem they forgot to tell you to take this and cut it in half. So now I have to cut these in half. So I folded this one and I've got the line across here and the line straight down there. And that's what I'm going to do with one each of every one of these. So I'm going to guess that was an oversight. Alrighty, so it's operator error with this camera because I just went and did something and it did not film any of it. So we're going to do it again. This square ends up being two inches once you've cut it down. We're going to take this fabric here and we're going to lay it there. And this one here. And we're going to sew this one to that one. When we're done, we're going to open it up. And then we're going to sew this one to that one. Like that. So let's do that right, first. Take two as they call it. I'm going to go down this side first, a quarter inch. I'm going to finger press it down towards the light side. We're going to take this one and we're going to lay it like this here. So we're going to flip this over like this and I'm not going to pin it, but I am going to flip it over upside down because I want to be able to watch the part right here on the back side. That's got the most bulk. So you're going to take your time. 
I did not cut off the little tails. If you guys want to cut your tails off, you can. Iron it open. And then I'm going to sit on this table so you can so see it. So the paper it. says that this is supposed to measure three and a half. Remember, I've got a three and a half inch block here. And so the little plus sign with my finger on it so you can see it. Right there. That little plus sign should go right in that little circle there. And yes, it's three and a half, but it's really pushing it for up here at the top. Just letting you know. So you want to might, might want to make yours a little bit bigger. I've got the line straight across here so that it catches on this little square. And it's a white line, so it's very hard to see. And that's how I'm going to trim it. And every one of these blocks is going to be have, have to be made the same exact way. Well, I'm glad I did not give this to my sister, which is what I thought about doing, because she'd never been able to put it together. And she does sew, but she doesn't like complications when it comes to sewing. So here we go. We got our three and a half inch block. Each block is going to look like that. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to cut all of my larger triangles in half, one of each color. So that's three of them. The green one, I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to lay it down here on my mat. And I'm making sure my point's coming out there. I'm holding it with this hand here. And I'm going to go straight down. And I'm going to do each color like that first. So I have all the colors and I make the half square triangles. So I have all these pinned together and I am chain stitching them. I've marked them up. Getting out our fabric A and our fabric G, and we're going to make half square triangles. Just to do, let's just I'm going to do it on this side here. So the cutting line is going to be right down the middle because we're going to make two half square triangles out of this fabric here. So I'm putting dash lines because that's the cutting line. And I'm going to take my ruler and move over a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to put a straight stitch, which is my sewing line. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other. And this is the way I'm going to do all the colored fabric. You guys can mark the white, whatever you want. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put right sides together and we're going to sew down this side of line and this side and then we're going to cut it we'll have two pieces we'll open them up and we'll have two half square triangles
put all of these apart and then we will iron them open. Okay, so I've got the half square triangles all sewn and we're gonna make two units each, or we're gonna make two squares each. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of the half square triangles and the C and you're gonna put, now make sure your half square triangle color is facing downward, then your C and then this one's facing upward and the C and then we're gonna sew these two together. We're gonna to make two of these, two of the green, two of the red and two of the, I'm gonna call that salmon or orange color. So we're gonna make two of that that, that, and here's the other one for this here. Alrighty, and then we'll be done with that. You wanna make sure that you snuggle this right here so that your middle section matches here because you wanna make sure that they don't run on top of each other. You don't have to cut the tips off if you don't want to. Have your corner over here, you can if you wanna. You don't have to. You can line it up just like that. I'll put a pin right in here going caddy corner. And then at the end, same thing. And when you get finished, this is going to measure three and a half by three and a half inch square. So let's go ahead and sew that. When you're finished sewing this, you're going to have a three and a half inch square, just like that. And you're going to make two of every color. So let's go ahead and get them all sewn up. This is the way that I lay them on the sewing table. And then what I do is when I get ready to do it, all I'm going to do is fold it over like this and sew down the side. Fold this one over and sew down the side and just continue to do that. So this is going to take a little while. It's not going to be fast. I'm not going to pin any of it. These have all been pinned. I've got them on the top. Where I start sewing, where I end, and in the middle to hold them, where I've split them up because you know they have to be snuggled or nestled, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if I can get it to move now. Take your time, we're going to chain stitch all of these. machine the first four that I showed you I went ahead and did the same thing to the remaining so that we can get started and I'm only going to start a little bit here I'm not going to show you the chain stitching you've seen enough of that today but I'll just show you how I'm starting and why, why I've pinned it. it the way that I have so on this one here I want to make sure that I don't catch the part that I've opened up because I opened up my seams because of the bulk let's see if I can get it let me show you one here. So this one's opened up like that. Although I'm sewing it like this, but I did not want it to get caught and flip over since I went to take the time to open that up and iron that down. This one's that direction. So that's why I haven't pinned like that. And just take your time, just like we did before.
and just do all of yours like this until they're all finished and then we'll pin them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pair up these. We're going to sew these two together, then these two together, and then this row and that row together. So that's going to make one block. Then we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to use the red, is what I'm calling this one that goes across here, and then the blue. So we're going to sew these two, then these two, and then this and this together. So let's get it all pinned up. Here on my sewing machine, the first four that I showed you, I went ahead and did the same thing to the remaining so that we can get started. And I'm only going to start a little bit here. I'm not going to show you the change to change. You've seen enough of that today, but I'll just show you how I'm starting and why I've, why I've pinned it the way that I have. So on this one here, I want to make sure that I don't catch the part that I've opened up because I opened up my seams because of the bulk. So this one's opened up like that. Although I'm sewing it like this, but I did not want it to get caught and flip over since I went to take the time to open that up and iron that down. This one's that direction. So that's why I have them pinned like that. Take your time, just like we did before. And just do all of yours like this until they're all finished. Now here's what they look like when they've been sewn. And now all we're going to do is we're going to put this one together. Every one of these we're putting together to match them up. And then when we're done, we're going to have four squares. So let's pin all them up. Now you should have four of these put together. And we'll chain stitch them. Let me get you started here. I'm going to tell you at this point, when I did the last uh, set of chain stitching, I do not care about my points. If you want to mark all your points, you can. Go ahead and do that. But I'm not worried about them. It's not as if they're going to snip some and not snip some. If they snip some, they're going to snip them all. So they're all going to look like they're supposed to be like that. And if you want and you're um, trying to avoid it, then your seam is not going to be a quarter inch for starters. It's going to be either a scant or it's going to be an eighth of an inch to put it together in order to avoid all the pieces that get cut off the tips. So it's up to your preference, whatever you want to do. So continue to get all four of these done and then we're going to take a look at them after we've ironed them. It should be this far. So you've got this block made, this block, this block, this block, and this is exactly how they want you to lay them out. The blue over there, then this one with the peach color, and then they want you to lay the green one here with the peach, and it's all going this direction, and then the red one. And we're going to sew these two together, and then that is going to be the block. Okay, so let's make one of each here. Both sitting right here, and I'm going to sew them. And I'm going to chain stitch them, so go ahead and do the same thing with yours. So there's the block one on the left there called Sarah's Choice. I mean, yeah, it's called number six, but it's Sarah's Choice block. And then these two here, which are seven, are the Goose and Goslin blocks. And of course, I'm going to put them up on the wall with the rest. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. While I was reviewing my video, I realized that the fabric F is incorrect. The pattern told us to cut one piece, but you will actually need three and a half. So you need to cut four squares in order to make the completed blocks.